here on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, John Bones! UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now to bite your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You think we get the kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a cool fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Adesanya. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. She went high on that one. Oh, straight right. Jones gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Jones's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful entry. This is 
exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, here we go, folks. Round two, Johnny Bones Jones. And that man is real out of sun. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Adesanya gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones. And he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it because the target is always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems desperate to keep that title right around. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. He gets the elbow up into the target. So 35 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Well, not necessarily the efficiency you'd be looking for, landing with 36% accuracy against John Jones. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice kick. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Adesanya. Just misses with the jab. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Switching stances here. Again, back into this position. Israel Adesanya going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Man, that cut has really opened up. Good takedown defense by Israel. Back to Orthodox. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Jones gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Seconds to go. All right, single collar tie now. What a round. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Are you ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight.
just misses with the straight right. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Adesanya. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, just misses with the kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Adesanya. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. So as we call on the numbers, 54 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. While not the most efficient effort today, the numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against John Jones. Watch knees to the body. All right, less than three minutes to go now in round three. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Effective punch there by Jones. Adesanya's lower jaw now started to show signs of swelling. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, yeah! All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice kick there by Adesanya. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, big left hook there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Israel Adesanya's kick to the body is blocked. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, deep lean on the heart, and see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He does. Wow! An uppercut needed! And there comes the separation now. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Big kick lands. He's able to check the high kick. Punch over the top. I mean, he's cutting him down the side. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. Whoa! Thudding leg kick. Oh, 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He's done! He's done! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game a full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, six seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout and Next time he fights, it'll be black trunks with gold oh. trim. Congrats to the new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Championship colors will be worn by this young man the next time he walks into the octagon. He came in there with a game plan, stuck to it, and got the job done. Congrats to the new UFC middleweight champion.